Good afternoon. I call this business meeting to order. Today, the committee will consider five bills. S616, excuse me, 616, Leech Lake Reservation Restoration Technical Corrections Act of 2023. S2796, a bill to provide for the equitable settlement of certain Indian land disputes regarding land in Illinois and for other purposes. S2868, a bill to accept the request to revoke the charter of incorporation of the Lower Sioux Indian community in the state of Minnesota at the request of that community and for other purposes. S3022, the IHS Workforce Parity Act of 2023, and HR 2040, Winnebago Land Transfer Act of 2023. S616 was introduced by Senator Smith and Klobuchar. The bill would make express the Secretary of Agriculture's authority to transfer suitable forest land located in the Chippewa National Forest in Cass County, Minnesota, to the Secretary of the Interior for the benefit of the tribe. S-2796 was introduced by Senator Mullen. The bill would waive any statute of limitation and grant the United States Court of Federal Claims jurisdiction to decide a land claim by the Miami Tribe of Oklahoma arising under its 1805 Treaty of Grouse Land with the United States. The bill would also extinguish any and all other claims the tribe, its members, descendants, or predecessors in interest to lands in Illinois and clear title to those lands. S-2868 was introduced by Senators Smith and Klobuchar. The bill would revoke the Indian Reorganization Act, Section 17, Charter of Incorporation for the Lower Sioux Indian Community. S-3022 was introduced by Senator Cortez Masto and Senator Mullen. This bill would permit the Indian Health Service scholarships and loan repayment assistance recipients to fulfill service obligations through half-time clinical practice. The final bill on today's agenda is H.R. 1240, Introduced by Representative Feenstra, H.R. 1240 would transfer approximately 1,585 acres currently administered by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to the Bureau of Indian Affairs to be held in trust for the Winnebago Tribe of Nebraska as part of the tribe's reservation. The House passed H.R. 1240 under suspension of the rules by voice vote on February 5th of 2024. The committee held a legislative hearing on the identical companion bill, S-3230, introduced by Senators Fisher, Grassley, and Ernst and Ricketts on November 6th of 2023. I'll now turn to the vice chair for her extensive opening statement. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, you have appropriately noted the, the five bills on the agenda. You can uh, cover the specifics. I'm not going to repeat that. I do want to note just a couple details about two of the bills we're considering. First is S616, the Leech Lake transfer uh, land transfer bill. I want to appreciate and thank my, my colleague, Senator Smith, for working with us to get this bill in shape so we can report it. Leech Lake are the rightful owners of these national forest system lands that were sold off by the federal government without their consent. So I think it's time for the Forest Service to do the right thing here, return the lands to the tribe. I'm hopeful that we can work together to right some other wrongs like this one that have been perpetrated by the federal government in other parts of the country. The landless native communities in southeast Alaska comes to mind. Uh, I also want to mention Senator Smith's and Mullen's bill on the IHS workforce parity. This is a good bill. IHS has been plagued with high staffing vacancies for too long. This bill will provide another tool in the toolbox to recruit and retain qualified health care professionals. So with that, I turn it back to you. Thank you, Vice Chair. Are there any other senators wishing to make an opening statement? Senator Cortez Masto, followed by Senator Smith. Thank you. Thank you, Dear Chair and Ranking Member. I so appreciate you including uh, the legislation I have with Senator Mullen, the IHS Workforce Parity Act for consideration. The bipartisan legislation will make it easier for the Indian Health Services to recruit and retain physicians. Too many tribal members can't access the health care they need because of a dire doctor shortage in Indian country. So we have to give IHS and tribal health facilities the tools to get the qualified health professionals they need. Senator Mullen and I have submitted for consideration an amendment to the bill uh, that makes technical changes recommended by HHS and IHS. The changes enable part-time eligibility uh, to work more seamlessly with the flexibilities and guardrails of the scholarship and loan repayment programs. As rural health care provider, the IHS has well-documented difficulty recruiting and retaining health care professionals. Uh, reports estimate that IHS needs over 1,300 clinical providers and staff. Part-time clinicians will help fill the gaps in IHS clinics, as they do through uh, the National Health Service Court at other rural health centers. This bipartisan bill allows health care providers working part-time to access IHS scholarship 
and loan repayment programs. I thank the committee for helping to move this bill forward. Thank you, Senator Smith. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Chair Schatz and Vice Chair Murkowski, and really to the whole committee for holding this business meeting today and including two of my bills, the Leech Lake Reservation Restoration Amendments Act, as well as my bill to revoke the corporate charter of the Lower Sioux Indian community. Both of these bills are really important to Minnesota. Um, let me just say briefly about the Lower Sioux's corporate charter. Um, uh, that bill under the Indian Reorganization Act, um, the, the charter is outdated, it is paternalistic, it is burdensome to the tribe, and they have requested that it be revoked. This bill, I think, is non-controversial and follows ample precedent of Congress in revoking these types of corporate charters. So I ask my colleagues for their support for that bill. The Leech Lake Reservation Restoration Amendment Act follows the enactment of Public Law 116.255. So Congress passed that in 2020. That law allowed for the transfer of land from the Chippewa National Forest up in northern Minnesota, Cass County, into the trust into trust for the Leech Lake Band. Thousands of acres were illegally taken from the band's uh, reservation through secretarial transfer decades ago. So what happened was when the Department of Interior was reviewing records to implement that 2020 law, it discovered additional thousands of acres that were wrongly taken from the band. So the bill before you today would allow those additional acres also to be returned. Um, and it is, of course, important to complete the mission of that 2020 law by passing this to update it. I want to thank my colleagues and especially um, uh, Vice Chair Murkowski for working with us on this bill, and I hear your message about other challenges that we have in other parts of the country relating um, forest land, and I look forward to our continued partnership on this. I want colleagues to know that I've filed an amendment to this bill which changes the short title, it makes two technical corrections, it clarifies the types of parcels that could be transferred into trust, and then it strikes the final agency action provision. These changes have been made with the consent of Leech Lake and also uh, with a consultation with relevant federal agencies and all feedback has been incorporated um, with the consent of the tribe. So I ask my colleagues to support the Lower Sioux Bill as well as the Leech Lake Bill and thank you very much. Thank you, Senator Smith. Are there any other opening statements? If not, we'll turn to the bills. Without objection, the committee will proceed to consider S-2796, S-2868, and H.R. 1420 and block. Is there any discussion? Without objection, the committee will vote by voice to report the bills and block. Those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, say no. The ayes have it, and S-2796-2868 and H.R. 1240 are ordered, uh, reported favorably without amendment. And now we'll turn to the remaining bills with amendments on the agenda. Um, I have a thing here that says waive rule 5C. Do I have to say that? We're gonna waive rule 5C without objection. Um, and then someone can tell me what rule that is later. I assume it's timely notice of an amendment or something like that, thank you. Um, Senator Smith, a timely filed amendment Number uh, KAT24238, after, filing, after the filing deadline passed, a necessary modification to that amendment was made at the request of the minority. Senator Smith filed a new amendment, number KAT24267, to reflect this modification, which was agreed to by the tribe. Committee Rule 5C requires 48-hour notice. In advance of the business meeting, this rule may be waived by the chair with the concurrence of the vice chair. Does the vice chair concur? Uh, I spoke with the vice chair, and um, and um, we're we're all on the same page. And so, without objection, I call up. Um, hold on one second. You can tell I wrote this script myself. Um, Without objection, I call up S-616. Senator Smith filed an amendment, number KAT-24267, and is asked to provide a description. Uh, Senator Smith? I think I've described it Thank you. Any further discussion? Without objection, the committee will voice vote on the adoption of KAT-24267. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. The ayes have it, and the amendment is adopted. If there's no further debate, then without objection, the committee will vote by voice uh, to report six, S-616 as amended. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. The ayes have it, and S-616 is ordered, reported favorably with an amendment. Without objection, I call up uh, S-3022. Senator Cortez Masto for herself and Senator Mullen filed a timely amendment in the nature of a substitute, number KAT-24239, and, and uh, has asked to provide a description. Senator Cortez Masto, are, are we good to go? 
We're good to go. Any further discussion? Uh, hearing none, without objection, the committee will vote by voice on adoption of amendment number KAT24239. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. The ayes have it and the amendment is adopted. If there's no further debate, we'll uh, move to uh, vote by voice uh, to report S3022 as amended. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. The ayes have it and S3022 is ordered reported favorably with an amendment in the nature of a substitute. I wanna thank the members of the committee for getting our business done so expeditiously and I ask unanimous consent that the staff be allowed to make technical and conforming changes. There being no objections or further business before the committee, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you.